The immune system keeps us healthy by eliminating pathogens in our bodies that cause disease. In some cases, however, the immune system is overactive and attacks harmless substances. This is an allergy. An allergen refers to a foreign substance that elicits a greater than normal immune response. Dust, pollen, animal fur, insect bites, and peanuts are all examples of allergens. They are typically harmless, but may elicit an abnormal immune response, in other words, an allergic reaction. According to a nationwide study, 1 in 13 Canadians suffer from a significant food allergy. This is a huge number, and it's on the rise. Allergic reactions can cause a range of symptoms, including rashes, sneezing, <coughs> coughing, and even death. Let's take a look at what happens during an allergic reaction at a cellular level when we eat a peanut. In someone with allergies, the first time the immune system sees an allergen, it activates your body's defenders called the white blood cells. Macrophages, known as big eaters, are one of these cells that immediately surrounds and breaks up the invading allergen. These cells then act as billboards, displaying the broken allergen fragments on their cell membranes. Here, specialized white blood cells called T cells come along. They see the fragments that the macrophages are displaying and bind to it. They then secrete chemicals into the environment, which recruit another type of white blood cell known as the B cells. B cells sense and respond to the signal by producing antibodies for that particular allergen. These antibodies bind to the allergen and can cause an allergy attack. Now the body has had experience with peanuts, so next time it encounters this allergen, it's ready to respond. The next time the same allergen enters the body, white blood cells immediately recognize it, which leads to a rapid allergy attack. Dr. Mark Larcher is a researcher at McMaster University who studies the allergic reaction process and develops therapies known as peptide vaccines, also known as synthetic peptide immune regulatory epitopes or spires. When this vaccine is administered to someone with an allergy, it introduces the allergen in the form of small peptides. A peptide is a small fragment of the allergen, so it's not enough to induce an allergic response, but it does trigger immune defense. When the T-cells come across the allergen in this peptide form, they will recognize it as harmless. Now unlike before where they become inflammatory and induce an allergic response, these T-cells now turn into regulatory T-cells. This is important as regulatory T-cells decrease the immune response by releasing anti-inflammatory molecules. Phew! Before administering a potential vaccine in humans, its mechanism of action must be tested in an animal model, specifically in a strain of mice that is allergic to peanuts. In a recent study from Dr. Larcher's lab, one group of mice was exposed to peanuts. They experienced an adverse allergic reaction. Another group was first injected with a peptide vaccine and then exposed to peanuts. They experienced less itching less swelling, and smaller variation in body temperature than those who did not receive the vaccine. So far, the results suggest that vaccines hold promise in alleviating allergies, but more work needs to be done. To prepare the vaccine for possible use in humans, Dr. Larcher and his team are now trying to determine the appropriate selection and dose of peptides that will produce sufficient suppression of the allergic response.